Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Soul Hunters episode with me, Worst FG, W F G, Y M P, I see you, you see me. All right, <laughs> I'm losing track already to the beginning of the episode here. But if you're wondering what I'm doing here with vest picks, it's a secret. Nah, it's not a secret, guys. I'm just here to let you guys know that I've started vest picks awakening. All right. We're on 21 pieces out of 80, all right? So it's gonna be another week or so before I can awaken Vespix, but I just wanna let you guys know that I did start Vespix, all right? Now, today's episode is not gonna be anything about Vespix. Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fight in the Hall of Legend, all right? Hall of Legend Vincent, and also, let me just check out, there he is, Vincent here. And also, what I'm gonna do is do some prophecy pool. I'll do Prophecy Pool and Vincent. A couple of cool things today. But let me first off show you guys a little trick. It's not a trick. All right. It's just kind of a little hint or a tip to the people that don't already know. So here's what I'm trying to show you guys. I already had it there. But we're going to try Polaris with Arachna here. All right. I just want to show you guys one thing, if you happen to not know this already, I know a lot of people know it, my guild knows it, but a lot of other people probably already know this, but, now Arachna freezes, as you guys know, she's not a flying creature, but check out what happens to this uh, health of Polaris, right? If you notice, the health is still going down little by little, okay? Now that's because Arachna has the ability to poison your opponent, right? which causes them to lose damage over time health, slowly. This effect still works, even though she's frozen, right? So as you can see, her Polaris health is going down, right? Now, how much it goes down, we'll have to test out. Okay, I can check at the end of this battle to see if she lasts a while. But if she lasts the whole battle, she's probably going to do a good amount of damage. That's 33,000 right there, right? So if you guys are having a little bit of trouble with your Polaris, this is what I recommend, okay? Maybe, let's go to Arachna real quick. Maybe upgrade your Arachna a little bit. She might be able to help you out. So here's the abilities that she has. What the? Not you'll think. This is what I'm looking for, Arachna here. So this is the ability that works, that what I'm talking about here. It's um Toxic Spine. It's her fourth ability, all right? So if your opponent attacks you with a physical attack, which Polaris does... As soon as they hit you, they will be affected by this and it causes 736 damage per second for uh, 5 seconds, alright? So that's why Arachna works really well. Alright guys, so let's continue on now and let's attack Polaris. Now I'm gonna do Deadly first because I haven't done it for the first time yet. And as you know, the first time bonus is pretty good. So I guess I can go with this team here and for a tank, I'm gonna put Namtar. So I'm gonna use Arcturus so you guys can see, you know, that... Arach I mean, not Arcturus, uh, Arachna, because so you guys can see that it works. She'll get frozen, but once she gets hit here, bang! She, um, Polaris is already poisoned here, and we can just keep on trucking on here and deal some good damage to this guy. Seraphim does some really good work. Now, if you're a level 90, everybody orange, it shouldn't be... De Deadly should be easy as, you know, easy as hell. So you shouldn't have a problem with this one. Extreme should be a little bit more difficult. Because um, just the damage is the problem. Not enough damage. You might have to. Um, you're probably gonna need an awakened Namtar, and probably there it goes. Deadly is pretty easy. That's done. Now we gotta move on to uh, extreme after this. So here's the damage and whew, Seraphin or Osiris did really good here. That's easy enough. All right, so let's try extreme now, guys. Should I keep the same team? All right, let's try the same team, but there's a risk with this team, all right, because I've run it a few times, but it times out, all right? That's the problem. Not enough damage for some reason. Um, That's the only problem here is the damage part. I might have to switch out Arachna, maybe put in uh, Arcturus. Maybe uh, I'll have to rent out an Awakened um, Namtar as well, because my Namtar is not Awakened. As you can tell. Alright, so that's... I'm gonna... I saved up the ultimates here. I want to stagger them. I don't want to put them one by one. I want to do them in a group because... You know, I don't want the timer to run out here. 
go aerial. This one I'll use fast. Alright, I'm gonna use Seraphin right away because she deals a ton of damage. Look at that. 12,000 per hit times 4. That's about 50,000 of damage per ultimate, which is really, really good. Now, here's where the trouble comes in because time is running out and I haven't dealt enough damage here. Oh no, Seraphim died. All right, that's a first. It's always different. Every battle is a different battle, all right? One time somebody dies, one time somebody survives, but it doesn't look like it's going to be enough damage here. All right. Yep, time's running out. So this is a timeout. Let's go back and see what we're going to fix. Let's check out the details here. So Arachna doesn't do much damage. So let's take her out. She works, but I don't think she works enough like I'd like her to work. So let me substitute in Arachna. And let me get in. Hmm. I guess my only other option here is... Where is she? Arcturus. Yep, let's go. Wait, I do have a question. Uh, I'm not sure if Vespix is a flying hero. He's a wasp, but is he considered flying? I might have to test that out. See if Vespix works. If this doesn't work, if this one times out, then what I'll have to do is maybe rent out, rent out an Amtar. I feel like that's the only other option. All right, let's use these three ultimates here right away. Boom. Okay, use these two. So Polaris is immune, you know, to all control. That's why our, um, Arcturus's ultimate ability doesn't work. Seraphin right away here. Mm. The only problem with Seraphin is her ultimate takes time to um, kick off. I hate that. It just takes so much time. Oh, why did I do that? All right, that was a mistake. I shouldn't have used... No, oh, no. All right, I'm going to auto here. I should not have used uh, Arcturus' ultimate there. It was just a waste of a few seconds. Because it doesn't work. But it looks like we might have enough still to finish this off. Very close here. Very close. Go, Ariel. Yep. And one more hit, pretty much. Yes. All right. So, as you can see, with Aragna, it didn't work. All right. So, with these guys, it worked. So, that's the only difference here. And, uh, wow. Seraphin killed it. She's a beast. And so is Osiris. So those are two heroes that you're probably going to need here, guys. And this is pretty much the basic drops that it has. Six, which is pretty good. Six, so you get about, let's say, 12 a day, which is not bad, all right? So Prophecy Pool is done. Let's head over to Vincent. All right, guys, so here we are, Hall of Legend Vincent. Let's check out what the leaderboard is looking like. So top damage is a little over a million, all right? One million and eighty-six thousand, all right? So that's pretty good. I know that Vincent is very tough here, but I do have a suggested team, all right? By uh, subscriber Alex. So Alex, I'm gonna try this team. Let's see if it works. All right, so we're gonna try Elric, Musashi, uh, Gizmo. Garic and Bloodspear. It's not much different than the team that I already use. It's very close. But let's give this team a shot and see how they do, alright? The trick is I Elric has to survive here a lot. But let's see if he does. There is a couple of other things that work for this guy. Um, one strategy that you could do is the Jasmine strategy, which a lot of people like to try. Use uh, Dokras, use Stalin, and once their little, you know, Wolverines and Hedgehogs turn into bats, then you carefully have to time, you know, the Jasmine ultimate. So it, it hits those guys as well. That one is much more of a strategy than these other ones. These other ones are a lot... Oh, I got to use the ultimates here. These other ones are just straight up attack, attack. So we're at 700,000 here. Oh, no. Musashi died. Oh, Jesus Christ. Here comes the bats. The bats. If I can get another... Uh, Gizmo here, quick. Go Gizmo! Yes, this will be good. 900, 900. Oh, we're very close to a million. Very close. Not quite though. Wait, but that did bump us to... Yes, that was not bad. Bumped us up. 
Okay, now let's try out some different things here, guys. That one was just a tryout for Alex. Let's see if. What else can we try? Musashi in the front does good work. The only problem is that he could. He also gets hit the same as Alric, which I don't like that. Let's see if I can uh, sub him in. Maybe try. Let's see if we can try somebody else here. Let's go with. Hmm, I'm just thinking, I'm just thinking here. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is take out Musashi and take out Elric. What I'm gonna do is, let's use Drago in the front. And let's go with Erstag. Let's see if this one has a better result. So I'm hoping Drago here gets some nice, uh, you know, survives for a while. So there's 100k. Now Garik is getting hit by the double slash, but the good thing is, is Garik has really, really good um, life steal, which means his health will regenerate really quickly here. So we're at 300,000 here. Let's go Gizmo. 400,000, 500,000. Oh no, he killed Garik really quickly. That's bad. Damn it. Yeah, this is not good. Very bad. Alright, so terrible run. The worst. Let's see. Yeah, uh, Drago did not last a long time there. And let's try Vincent here. And let's try Slim. See if this one changes up a little bit here. Because so far, not good. This is third try. If this one doesn't do too good, then I think I'm going to stick to that first team. Because that first team was very, very close, you know, to the top damage. And, um... If it does really well, then I can just... Because sometimes you just have to reset the RNG, guys. That's pretty much all it is. Alright, go Bloodspear. Alright, let's use these fast here. Even though I'm not going to get Lifesteal, it doesn't matter. Okay, 400,000 here. Oh, Garik, go quick. Alright, now I'm going to use these. Even though I might have should have waited... So we're almost at 8. Oh, once your tank dies, it's just really bad here. We are at 900,000, but it feel yep, it's dead. So this one was very very close to the first attempt. Okay, Slim does do good here though. So what if I take him out and I put Elric in as my tank? Let's see if this one will work a little bit better. The only problem is once your tank dies, that's why it's good to have another tank in the front with Musashi there. Okay, okay. So far, so good. Now, the reason why uh, Elric works pretty well here, guys, is he's able to slow Vincent down. Alright, so one of his, uh, you know, attacks will slow him down, which helps tremendously here. Okay, let's go with some ultimates here. While they're boosted... So we're at 500,000. Go ahead. Still looking okay. Oh, I gotta use this one quick to get the haste. Now here's where the trouble is coming from. Because if... Oh, that's what I was going to say. If they, a couple people die. Hmm. Yep. So that's the problem. with your. If your tank dies there, it's a big problem. I do like Elric as a tank here though. I do like him a lot. So let me try Elric and another frontline tank that's able to dish out some more damage. Let's try Ezio. Let's see how this one works a little bit different here. Okay, they're doing good so far. And Ezio is all over the place. Go Ezio. Alright, so far so good. We're looking good. Mm. I wanted to take advantage of the boost there. Alright, Garik. There we go. So we've hit 600,000 here right now. Boom. So here's the trouble. Elric has to be able to survive just a tad bit longer. Alright. Ah, oh, Bloodspear died. That's not good. Gizmo's... Still alive. Not for long, though. 
Yeah, he died. Gorek is still alive. 900,000, but Gorek is almost dead. Yep, he's dead. Ah, it's so hard to hit that million mark. That's the goal. Hit a million. So, so far, it's pretty much... Oh, the amount of attempts. And do I want to reset? Mm, I don't think so. I think it's been long enough this episode. And I'm not mad with 7th place. That's good enough. And very close. About, you know, 100,000 away from top spot. But I'll give it to Caramel. Caramel can have it. Alright, so I guess I'll end it off here, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Good luck in Vincent. This guy is tough as nails. All right, he's really hard, right? Try out some different things. But, uh, I'll end it off here now. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow is the live stream, all right? So if you can catch it, don't miss it. I'll see you guys then. Have Till then, like always, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night!